we have one queen who's mating with two different drones. We're going to start with one side of the family and then we'll expand it to calculate the relatedness for everyone in this polyandrous system. So first we have the queen and drone mate and they produce a worker. And this is going to be our focal worker that we're focusing on in this example. So how related is this worker to her parents? Well, we know that queens pass on 50% of their genes to their workers. So this relationship is a 50%. Workers share 50% of their genes with their mother queen. And drones pass on 100% of their genes to their offspring. They only have one set of genes, so they pass them all to the worker. So they are sharing 100%. So now, what if the drone and queen were to have another daughter? They have another worker. How related are these two to each other? Well, to figure that out, we can do a really simple math problem, which I'll do down here. So full sisters. So full sisters are going to be sharing 100% of their genes with their father. They have the same father. He's passing on all of his information to one daughter and all of that exact same information to another daughter. So they share 100% of their genes with their dad. With their mom, they're sharing 50% of their genes. And in the video on the kin selection page, I talk about how this kind of random inheritance of different gene versions averages out to being 50% related to full workers or full siblings. So they're sharing 100% of their genes with their dad and 50% of their genes with their mom. So on average, full workers are related to each other by 75%. So we'll put that in here. Okay, so now what if the queen has a son? She has a drone. So we can again calculate how related this worker is to her brother. And we do that by thinking the same thing. So the worker shares 0% of her genes on her father's side. Drones do not inherit any genes from this father or this father. They only inherit genes from the queen. So they share 0% of their genes on their father's side. Again, they share 50% of their genes on their mother's side. So when we average this out, they are 25% related to each other. Okay. So now, what if this worker were to lay an egg? She has a drone. If this worker were to sneakily lay an egg that goes unpoliced and it develops into a drone, how is she related to it? Well, she's passing on 50% of her genes to this egg, so they are sharing 50% of their genes. And what about if her full sister were to have a drone? How would they be related? So this worker would be less related to this drone. She's sharing 75% of her genes with her sister, and her sister is passing on half of her genes to her son. So this worker is actually going to be related by 37.5% to her full nephew. So she's already sharing, she's sharing half of the 75% of genes that she's sharing with her sister, with her nephew. Hopefully that makes sense. So now let's expand the family on the other side. So this queen is going to be having a, another worker, this time with a different father. So how is this original worker related to her half-sister? So the way that we can figure that out is by doing similar calculations to what we did before. So these two workers share the same mother. So they share 50% of their genes on their mother's side, and they have totally different fathers, so they don't share any of the same genes from their father's side. So the father's side contribution is 0%, so this makes half-sisters an average of 25% related to each other. I'm sorry that this is so messy. So then I guess the final thing that we can calculate is how related this worker bee would be to a drone that is laid by her half-sister. So the same way that we thought about it for her full nephew, if we're thinking about her half-nephew, if, if that's even what they're called, half-nephews, if we're thinking about the relatedness between this worker and this drone, we would divide the amount of genes that are shared by these half-sisters, 25%, by 2, because this worker is passing on half of those genes to the drone. And we find out that the relatedness between 
these two is 12.5%. So that kind of explains how we calculate the genetic relatedness of all these different family members. And if we were to add even more drones to this queen, we would still find these same relationships will hold up. So if you can calculate it for a queen mating with two different drones, then you can calculate it for a queen mating with a variety of different drones. So this is a pretty simplified understanding of calculating relatedness between different individuals in the colony because we're assuming that these two drones are totally unrelated to each other when in fact they could share some genes. Maybe they are actually distant relatives of one another. And in that case, these will actually change a little bit. We'll see that half sisters might be a little bit more related to each other than 25%, for instance. But for the purposes of this course, we will just keep things simple and um, calculate it assuming that drones are not related to one another. So I hope this helps. If you still have any questions, just let me know and we will try to work through it.